Well, some South Bay parents are outraged, they say, to learn of their child's classmates sharing what they call inappropriate videos on social media platform TikTok. They say they want the district to take action and they want to address the issue with these parents of these students. Okay, was nice. Teresa Sardina live in the Chula Vista Elementary School District. She's got more for us on this. Teresa? Good evening. We're talking about sixth grade students, some sixth grade students here at Hilltop Elementary School. And on Monday, some parents reached out to me. They were so upset about these disturbing videos that were shared on campus. So I do have an update for you. In the last hour, I was mentioning that some parents were just really frustrated. The fact that the district or the principal wasn't even acknowledging it. And this came to service last week. And only the teachers were addressing this. But at 530, a parent did reach out to me saying that the principal just sent the letter saying that they have been investigating this for one week now, finding that it was fifth and sixth grade students that were sharing inappropriate social media videos and they're going to handle it and that they took appropriate action. So we will have that full statement on KUSI News at 10 o'clock. But we're going to show you what we gathered from speaking with the parents on Monday and Tuesday. Take a look. A letter that would make any parent of a TK transitional kindergarten through 12th grade student furious. February 1st, a few teachers of Hilltop Elementary School in Chula Vista address students' inappropriate social media behavior that was brought to their attention by concerned parents. Dear 6th grade families, details over several students sharing content using the popular online marketing tool, TikTok private account created by Hilltop 6th graders, a teacher describing the content, illusions of porn, fetishes, derogatory slurs, and curse words. We blur images and names to protect the identities of the children. Parents who wish to remain anonymous sharing with me screenshots of some of the TikTok videos that their own children shared with them, plus comments of student bullying which some of the videos were taken at school. Accounts were immediately deleted once students were made aware in class that this is a serious incident. Unfortunately, it's very difficult for parents and schools um, to keep these social media platforms from coming in front of and, and really manipulating the, the time and the minds of children. Child rights expert Jessica Heldman, an associate professor at the University of San Diego School of Law, speaks on the dangers of social media use on kids and teens and online parental control. Children's brains are still developing and they're very susceptible to following interesting information that gives them that, that little bit of, of a dopamine hit of excitement when they're seeing something that all their friends are talking about. Bullying and um, ways that, you know, children are sharing personal information about themselves and others puts students and our children at significant risk. So it's very important for parents um, to follow as best as possible, you know, the parameters regarding age, regarding monitoring, regarding parental controls. Um, but a big part of it is education as well and teaching children about the impact of their what they put out there. I'm a parent too, and I struggle with trying to manage and, and monitor what is healthy use of the internet and social media and what is harmful. And today as a parent, um, I feel very challenged. And as I mentioned, there is an update. So I will have that at KUSI News at 10 o'clock and KUSI.com that this is what the parents were waiting for. They were waiting for the district and principal to acknowledge that some of these students, the fifth grade and sixth grade students, are using inappropriate social media behavior on campus. But it's great to be out here talking with these parents because this is really serious. It's so important to address these matters and to really educate the students and to also be aware what is on your child phone. So we have the story coming up tonight at 10 on KUSI reporting in Chula Vista. I'll send it back to you. Teresa Sardina for us. Thanks, Teresa.